by birth plan has changed due to the coronavirus. So I don't know, but what are you gonna do? But. my channel and welcome if you are new so Grayson's just down for a nap right now I have him on uh, the nightstand the monitors on the nightstand so I can keep an eye on him while he is sleeping so as you guys can tell by the title this will be another pregnancy update covering weeks 22 to 25 I am 25 weeks and six days pregnant um, I'll be turning 26 weeks tomorrow the day you guys will be seeing this I will be 26 weeks which is crazy like six and a half months I have no idea the time has went so before I jump into this video I just want to say thank you guys for your comments and concerns um, on my either direct messaging me on Instagram or on previous videos on my YouTube channel wondering where I've been like the past week or so because I was updating or like um, I was uploading like every day or every other day since the whole pandemic has started but Jude and I have been very busy with a home project that we will reveal very soon hopefully I'm just waiting on a couple more things to come in. Like the thing is like, if we didn't have this pandemic, I probably wouldn't have got this home project done. But at the same time, it's kind of hard because like I can't go out and shop for the things I need. I have to wait for them to get shipped to me. So I will tell you guys what it is, but I won't reveal, like show you what like what we did. So um, we've been living in this house for like two years and I've always wanted to do redo our master bathroom. So we decided to do that and tackle it ourselves. And I love the way it turned out. So we're just waiting for the knobs for the cupboards, like the cabinets, and um, an over light fixture, a new one for over the mirror in the bathroom, and then we're completely done. So hopefully that'll be arriving shortly and I can show you guys. I filmed like before, during, and then obviously I'll film what it looks like afterwards. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, look out for that video coming hopefully soon. So let's just jump into the video. So I wrote down, round ligament pain at 22 weeks was like basically the only thing at 22 weeks. I had a lot of round ligament pain. I think I mentioned in one of my vlogs actually where we didn't actually go for a walk. We just spent time outside because I was getting really low pain in my abdomen, like a stretching pain. And then like the following day, my belly, I feel like was significantly bigger. So I was obviously stretching and growing and everything is what was causing the pain, also known as round ligament pain. And yeah. So for 23 weeks, I wrote that I laugh at everything. I had this with Grayson too, that anything would make me laugh. I remember when I was pregnant with Grayson, I was still working at the daycare and my best friend, Michelle, that also works there, where we were laughing at something, obviously more me more so than her because I was pregnant and I don't know, laughs at everything. And I legit could not stop laughing. And Judy was getting mad at me because I was waking up her toddler room because they were <laughs> napping and she could hear me in like the next room over. I don't remember what we were laughing at, but I thought it was the funniest thing. And then again, that has happened. If you guys saw the Easter video of us dying eggs and I was so confused about whose egg was inside the cup, like who else lives in our house? Like obviously it's Judy's egg that's in the cup. And I just thought it was the funniest thing. Like I was crying, laughing so hard. So I still laugh a lot the other day. I was like on the floor, on my kitchen floor, like fell down to the kitchen floor, like laughing. Like it's, it's good to laugh and <laughs> I feel like he doesn't really appreciate it because my belly like, shakes so much and he's getting like tossed and turned around. But um, yeah, my uh, uncontrollable laughter is definitely back. That's all I have for week 23, week 24. I wrote down a bit of side pain um, as I'm getting bigger. And if Grayson like wants up, then obviously I'm like picking him up and everything. So he like obviously walks on his own, but if he wants cuddles and stuff, then I'm picking him up. And I really didn't experience, I don't think like soreness when I was pregnant with Grayson at this early because I wasn't chasing around a toddler or picking up kids a lot like at daycare the other staff were really vigilant but like no cups if you sit down like I'll handle the beds or I'll change the diapers so I wasn't like I feel like I'm doing a lot more now especially doing home projects at home at like six and a half months like I definitely need to like slow it down a bit and kind of like enjoy this pregnancy a lot more and you know relax but yeah a bit of like side pain and like sore hips and stuff but nothing like I can't handle Acid reflux was present that week and it has been present ever since, like almost daily. So maybe he will have a full head of hair like Grayson or maybe he'll come out with no hair. We'll see. Um, I also got maternity clothes that week. I did a big order. Old Navy had like a 50 or 60% off sale and 
Uh, I'm actually wearing one of the outfits right now. It's just like a jumper, it's like a t-shirt and like short-ish jumper. Um, but I didn't really have to buy maternity clothes when I was pregnant with Grayson because that was my biggest in like fall and winter and I already wear like baggy clothes at that time of year. But summer I actually wear clothing that like fits me. I'm not saying like, like tight fitting, but like actually like fitting to my body. And obviously that does not fit right now because I'm six and a half months pregnant. So I had to do a big maternity haul, um, maternity um, like shopping. If you guys are interested in seeing everything that I got, I'll leave a comment down below and I can do a maternity haul for you guys if you're interested in seeing that. So I got maternity clothes for the first time like ever. I didn't like, I obviously didn't really have a choice because I have nothing to wear for spring slash summer. So I'm very thankful that they had a big sale because I got quite a bit of clothes. Some Hicks contractions started at week 24 and I still get them. So I'll just like get like a huge tightness in my belly. My belly will be like rock hard for like a couple minutes and then I'll slowly come out. Um, which is like nothing to worry about. It's like not real contractions or basically practice contractions. It's what they're referred to as and they're completely normal at this stage of pregnancy and there's no like pattern to them or anything. They're like random throughout the day um, and like weeks. So like sometimes I won't get them and sometimes I'll get them multiple times throughout the day. It's not like they're like real contractions where I need to like start timing them or anything. So also wrote for a week 24, my belly feels so tight and full after eating and it still does. Um, I just feel like this past week or so my belly has significantly grown let me know again in the comments down below if you guys see a significant difference from my last video which is like a month ago basically pregnancy update but i feel like daily it's just getting bigger and bigger and um after, especially after i eat like i feel so full and like uncomfortably big and um a constant urge to pee like I constantly have an urge to pee like I will just go pee and then two seconds later I feel like I have to pee but like nothing comes out just because he's just constantly sitting in my bladder and like applying pressure down there so that's been fun 25 so the current week that I'm in I guess or the last week by the time you guys see this is my itchy belly has been back so I've been very vigilant about putting my coconut oil on my belly every morning and um, before I go to bed I haven't noticed any new stretch marks. I did end up getting stretch marks with Grayson that I didn't notice until after he came out. But um, I hear that you, if you, for like your second child, you really don't get new ones. Um, if you do just like a couple, because like my, your belly's already used to the whole stretching. So if I do whatever, like I already have some and it's the part of the process. Like my body is like, it, my body is making a baby and like I'm so like, it's it, it's a miracle like what the, woman's body can do so if stretch marks are a part of that then stretch marks are a part of that like i'm perfectly fine with having stretch marks like i made a child so uh, 25 apparently i have started to waddle so judy pointed out to me the other day and i was kind of upset like sad that i'm already starting to waddle but then like my best i was talking to my best friend michelle she made me feel a little better she's like but you're like a small person to begin with so any added weight in your belly is going to throw off your balance versus like if you were heavy to begin with you wouldn't really notice it and i was like okay like it makes me feel better it's because like i was petite to begin with and then like the added frontal weight and like i think i was waddling around this time with grayson as well it's not like a full-on waddle it's more like kind of like a sway and like my balance is a little bit off but apparently i'm waddling now I had a midwife appointment at 20 weeks on the phone because they're trying to like minimize the amount of people that go into the clinic. And then if you do have an appointment in clinic, you obviously can't bring your spouse or Judy can't come with me. And I obviously wouldn't bring Grayson. He's not allowed anyway, but I wouldn't want to subject him to any possible germs or anything or like the coronavirus. So I was supposed to go in for my 25 week appointment. And I called the day before just to confirm that like I still had an in clinic appointment. They said yes. And I requested to have it over the phone I just feel more comfortable having over the phone because this is my second pregnancy like I know what to expect like I'm not nervous about anything like pregnancy wise he moves a lot um, I have a Doppler like if I was ever concerned just, like check on his heart rate and stuff so we did it over the phone and that was great but my next appointment I think at like 29 weeks I go in clinic they're like will you be okay coming in I said yeah so around 24 to 28 weeks is when you do the glucose test so I need to schedule that soon which I'm nervous about because I have to do that and I have to sit in like you know um like where you go get it done like I don't know like a lab or whatever and there's gonna be other people obviously I will wear a mask but I opted out to do the one hour test this time I did the three hour with Grayson but the amount of time if I can like limit the amount of time that I'm in there then that's great and she said just call ahead of time and see if you can like wait in the car 
um, while you're waiting out like the hour before they like draw your blood again. So uh, that appointment will be coming up soon. I have to schedule that appointment and I also need to check my iron level. So they'll do that for me then because they're already drawing my blood. But when I was on the phone with my midwife talking about like what my plans are, she's like, what are your plans for like birth, like hospital or home? And I said that I finally got Judy on board for a home birth. If you guys have been following for a while, then you probably know that I wanted to have a home birth with Grayson. Judy was not comfortable with that because he was our first. And she's like, if you want to do it for a second, like I'm on board. I got pregnant with this baby. And she's like, no, like I feel more comfortable in a hospital. But now with everything in like the unknown and you know, people are going into the hospital because like they're sick or they have like the virus and stuff like we want to, you know, keep away from that as much as possible. Obviously, if like something were to go wrong, we're only five minutes from the hospital. So I feel more comfortable staying at home and Judy is now on board for a home birth. I have always wanted to have a water birth in our tub. Like we have a big tub in our bathroom, which you guys will obviously see when I do the reveal of the bathroom tour. But um, my midwife informed me that if the coronavirus is still going on when I'm giving birth, that you cannot have a water birth because it can be transmitted through the water. So I'm assuming that they're not gonna test me unless like I'm showing symptoms. So they're just gonna, you know, play it safe and it's not advised to have a water birth. I could still have a home birth and just have, you know, him on our bed, but I'm hoping that it's over by then. But um, yeah, it's actually really upsetting because I've always wanted to have a water birth. I wanted to have one with Grayson and then I finally got Judy on board to have it with this pregnancy. And now that night might not be an option because of like COVID-19. It's sad, but at the same time, I obviously want what's best for him and myself, like to keep us healthy and safe. So we'll see what happens. I still have like three months to go. So um, things could change, but I'll keep you guys updated with that. But as far as like right now, my birth plan has changed due to the coronavirus. So I don't know, but what are you going to do? But I'd rather like keep us safe. So we'll see though. My last thing I just wanted to touch upon quickly is I don't really have much pregnancy craving. I still have a sweet tooth, not as bad as it was at the very beginning. That's like my biggest thing that why I thought it was a girl's because I never craved anything sweet with Grayson and this pregnancy, I like wanted everything sweet. So my constant food craving throughout this entire pregnancy from like beginning to current is, has been peanut butter. So at the very beginning, I could not get enough of peanut butter, milkshakes, some Baskin Robbins. I was obsessed. And then once that kind of like trickled out, I was obsessed with eating bananas with peanut butter on top. And I still occasionally eat it, but that kind of like trickled out. And then my newest phase right now is Reese's peanut butter cups. And before getting pregnant, I never, I like I would eat it, I guess. Like if, if we had one, I was like, okay, like I'll eat one. But like I never craved one. Like I never really saw the hype about Reese's peanut butter cups, but now I can't get enough of them. So like my constant craving throughout this pregnancy has been peanut butter by far. So I'm just going to show you guys my belly and then that'll be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hopefully if my, I'll get a video out in between this one and the bathroom reveal, hopefully that'll be up um, shortly. I'm just waiting on the last minute stuff, as I said. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my belly. Now I think I covered everything. If you guys have any questions, then leave it in the comments down below and I can always answer them there or on my Instagram page. So I didn't really think this through as I'm wearing a jumper, but I'll show you without taking it off, I guess. So the front, the side, and the other side. Let's see if I can come closer and just like take this off. Is this weird? Well, oh well. <laughs> side, the front, and the other side. Alright, so see you guys in my next video. Bye!